All right, so here we've got the factory group size battery. We've got an Interstate MT35 in there, which offers 690 cranking amps or 550 cold cranking amps. Problem is, this battery is extremely heavy. Weighs in at about 38 pounds, and uh, you know that's not something that we want. So instead, we got this guy right here. It's the anti-gravity ATX30, 880 cranking amps, lithium iron phosphate battery that only weighs 5.4 pounds as advertised but it packs a punch at 880 cranking amps so today we're going to fit that in there and fabricate a battery hold down to make the whole thing work not included with the battery is the standard automotive uh, battery posts it's nice that the battery has a positive and negative on either side so you can rotate it to make the positive and negative on the side that you need and uh, that makes it really handy and really easy to adapt this battery to any vehicle. I decided to put a voltmeter on here just to make sure that the battery is good. I've, I've heard of very few cases where the battery is no good on arrival, uh, but this one's all good, 13.15 volts. Now you'll know that's a little bit higher than the standard lead acid of 12.6. That actually has some benefit to it because it'll actually take some load off of the alternator and uh, actually add a small amount of horsepower with a reduced parasitic draw. All right, now we do plan on putting the battery in the stock location. However, we can't use the factory hold down for two reasons. One is there probably wouldn't be enough thread on our studs because the new battery is going to mount lower. And two, because of the restart button, this center bar here would interfere with the restart button. So we don't want that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a template first to find out where our mounting holes are. So I'm just going to basically push this on here sorry it's hard to do this with one hand but basically push this on here and make an imprint and then push it on the other side and make an imprint that way we know exactly how far apart our posts our studs are for the battery hold down and we can fabricate something using that information Okay, so I traced those two mounts onto a sheet of paper. It's not 100% straight, but that's all right. Now we just need to measure the battery and exactly where that restart button is going to be in relation to our, our battery hold down studs. And we can then design how our hold down is going to go over the battery. All right, so here's the template I came up with. It's going to be a simple four piece battery hold down that's going to be welded using quarter inch flat steel. Uh, the blue ball ballpoint pen with the restart DAT. Uh, is supposed to represent where the battery is going to be. The blue is each edge of the battery, and obviously this rectangle here is our restart button in the center, in case we ever need to use that. So it's just going to basically go around and kind of just go straight across the battery this way. Um, so I'm going to go get the quarter inch steel and start cutting and welding. We'll see what we come up with. All right, so here's the mock-up of our battery hold down. Just gotta weld this together and then drill the holes for the studs to go through and that should be able to hold the battery in place perfectly. All right, so here's the finished product. It's not the prettiest. Um, the holes that I had to drill softened the edges, so I welded some washers on and then grinded them smooth. So that kind of made it look a little ugly, and the welds were also kind of splotchy. But either way, it's strong. I also put some foam tape on the bottom to, you know, kind of make it a little cushioned on the battery so it didn't like crush it or anything. Because I don't know how strong these cases and these lithium batteries are. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on. So we're literally just going to disconnect the battery, terminals and hold down and slap our new one in and see if it works. Alright, battery's installed. Start it up. Are you going to hold that for me? Yeah. 